Uh, so, for the given series, we need to find the first four terms of the sequence of partial sums. We, need, we also need to make a conjecture and we need to state that the series is divergent. Uh, let's write down two uh, facts that we will use to solve this problem. So, first of all, if we have a series AK uh, and if it's an infinite series, then SK so the partial sum of k elements equals a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on until ak. And this is called the case par par partial sum. Uh, the second fact that we will use is that if a series ak is a series of positive terms, so we know that ak is uh, larger than zero, uh, then that means that the limit uh, of ak over ak plus 1, where ak is k's uh, term of the series and ak plus 1 is k plus 1's term of the series, and k approaches infinity, so this limit equals L. Uh, and the series is divergent if L is less than 1. So if L is less than 1, then the series is divergent. Well, let's see how we can use these two facts in our case. So for our series, AK equals 10 to the power of K. So that means that S1 equals A1. So it just equals 10 to the power of 1. So it equals 10. Then S2 equals A1 plus A2, and it equals 10 to the power of 1 plus 10 squared, so it's 10 plus 100, it equals 110. Uh, then S3 equals the sum of first three terms, so it's A1 plus A2 plus A3. It's A 10 to the power of 1 plus 10 squared plus 10 cubed. And this equals 1110. And S4 equals the sum of the first four terms. So this is A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. And this equals 11110. Well, so we have found uh, the first four partial sums that are right here, I'll highlight them. And we can state that sum SK, which equals the sum of 10 to the power of K, where K goes from zero to infinity, approaches infinity. Because as you can see, S2 is larger than S1, S3 is larger than S2, S4 is larger than S3, and so on. So if K approaches infinity, our uh, function, uh, our sum SK also approaches infinity. Now, we know that K's term AK equals 10 to the power of K, and uh, uh, k plus 1's term, so a k plus 1 equals 10 to the power of k plus 1. Let's try to find the limit of a k over a k plus 1, where k approaches infinity. This equals 10 over k. Oh, sorry, my bad. This equals the limit of 10, over k, 10 to the power of k over 10 to the power of k plus 1, where k approaches infinity. Then this equals the limit of 1 over 10, because we have, di uh, we have divided both num numerator and denominator by 10 to the power of k. So we get that this equals the limit of 1 over 10, where k approaches infinity, and obviously this equals 1 over 10. As you can see, 1 over 10 is less than 1, so this means this means that our series is divergent.